two young friends from Richmond Hill, Ontario, who have been keeping a very keen eye on the sky. Let us meet them both, both in Richmond Hill. On the left, oh, hi, well, Tharin's waving. So let me introduce Tharin De Silva, waving first on the right. And that's Alfie Chan, Hello. best friend. Hi, guys. Hi. Thanks for being guests hi. on our show together. Hi, Heather. Hi. Hi. Tharin, you get to start. You were just listening to Nicole tell us all about all of this. How big a deal is it for you? Watching it's a huge Mar deal. Why? Tell me more. Well, because it's almost as if Moon, I mean Mars, becomes a mini moon for us. So the sun actually reflects the light. And this only happens once every two years, which is a long, long, long time. I'll be like 13 by next time this happens. Yeah, you'll be a teenager, my goodness, because you both are just 11 right now. That's pretty cool. So it is a big deal. And for you too, Alfie, are you kind of, uh, are you kind of excited about seeing this? Phenomenon? Yeah. Yes, I have. Um, I've been watching on the Allen I. Carswell Observatory live stream. I've also been looking with my family through the telescope my dad's best friend lent us. Although my previous podcast, I mentioned like um, how I only had a toilet telescope and I didn't, so I could only look at the live stream. But my dad's best friend heard about this podcast, so he lent us this telescope. So I've been looking through it and looking at the live stream. It's okay. actually really amazing. And to all those kids out there, don't miss last day because this won't because it won't happen this good in another 15 years although it's going to happen in two years though exactly two years but it's particularly close this time so it seems yeah. really, really amazing another so, 15 years that's a long time to wait you'll be into your 20s yeah. practically by that yeah. time guys but Tharn, I'll be 26. I can see, yeah, 26 exactly Tharn, and i can see your telescope behind is that how you've been watching through that mm -hmm. one and tell yes, me what have you been is. seeing how did it look to you well, it looked actually like a cell, so it was kind of clear. You could see a bunch of dimples in it. Now, Alfie's telescope, it's a lot more powerful refractor telescope, so he could probably actually see red and maybe even close to the surface of Mars. Am I right, Alfie? Um, I'm afraid not, uh, because um, <laughs> mine, uh, each, each, each planet that I looked at was only the size of a rice. Okay. And um, so each size planet of a was white. Could you see any features, Alfie, like any of the polar caps or any of the volcanoes or anything like that? Um, no, but I did see Saturn's rings and I did see Jupiter's four moons. Whoa. How often do you two guys talk about space? A lot. Mm -hmm. A lot, I'd say. Who Since got... we're not in the same class. If, if you're not in the same class this year. You talk about it every morning. Yeah. yeah. Uh, when we, we line up at school. Yeah. That's yeah. so cool. Who got who into interested in all of this? Tharan, um, you did? Tell me the yeah. story, Tharan. So, you know, we became friends a long time ago because, you know, we're both big nerds and enthusiasts of many different science nerds. things. So as in school, we always used to talk about space and everything. And yeah, that's how we got into it. And one time when this whole pandemic came along, we did our first Zoom call together. And what happened was we actually started talking about space and we got really in depth to it. And that began a whole different layer of your friendship. Now you found this shared interest, and yeah. now you're totally into it. Do you know not just Mars? I'm going to bring in some pictures. I don't know that you can see them in the setup you have at home. But one of the things that we're also covering today is the space station. Three new astronauts arrived at the space station this morning, guys. I don't know if you know that. Wow. But that's pretty that's cool. cool. Tell me, I'm showing pictures right wow. now of the three arriving. They're coming through the hatch and arriving at the International Space Station. Now, how does that sound to you, Alfie? Observing how I'm afraid I cannot see it. You can't but it see it, but just imagine really, it for it. Yeah, imagine what the experience would be like for it me, It sounds Alfie. really amazing. Uh -huh. I actually want to be a journalist, but I also want to be an astronaut too. So me too. I can like write. Yeah, I want so I can write about like um, my journeys in space if I do become an astronaut. And like Chris Hadfield, he writes books too, like this one. You have his book right there. Me too. Yeah, I have his book. Tharn does too. Tharn does too. Tharn wants to get book. in on the conversation. There it is right there. Chris Hadfield's book. Uh, you like Chris Hadfield. So Tharn, is he a hero or an inspiration to you, to you too? Yes, he is. That's He's one of my major feelings that got me into this whole space thing. He would be very proud to hear that, I bet. Yeah, I know. You my know, dad also really helped. What does your dad do? 
Well, he works on the Canada arm. He was the safety engineer. He just got promoted to manager. And um, shout out to MDA, his company. Um, so, you know. And, uh, yeah, he always used to tell me about these new innovations in space. And I always thought that was so cool because it's a big, vast, open void just waiting for all these things to be discovered in it. I could talk to you both all day. This is the best conversation in my in the longest time. Um, so your parents must be so interested in, in your interest and proud of you as you tell me all about this. I'm so excited by your enthusiasm. Alfie, I, I was showing, we were talking about the space station, but you know, we're also talking this morning about Canada being part of the world's effort to get to, to Mars, for example. Now, tell me this, yeah. Alfie. Would the Perseverance you be, rover. Yes, exactly. And the Artemis Accord, they signed on to some of the rules in the yeah. Yeah, guidelines for taking part in this pactibus. So tell me, the whole idea of going to Mars on an expedition, does that have any appeal for you? Yes, that's actually very interesting. And I actually, if I do become an astronaut, I would actually want to go to Mars. And what about you, Tharan? Yeah, I would. Fun fact, people have already actually, NASA had a contest and they awarded some yeah. company who made a Mars home called Marsha. Yeah. That is very cool. That is a fun fact. Um, listen, you've already been watching. You were watching last night. You've been watching all the way through. Alpha, you've got another, you've got another party planned, a viewing party on Saturday you want to tell us about? Uh, yes. Um, I also, um, I've been... In my previous podcast, I mentioned that I would have a tent in the backyard, but sadly, our house and the trees all obscured my view. Mm -hmm. So we had to move to the front. And on Friday, the previous Friday, um, my dad's best friend lent us this. So we've been looking at it ever since. And I've been recording everything in a journal. <laughs> this is fantastic because it's such a big moment. Uh, it, it's such a rare moment, as you said. But Saturday, I yeah, think, are you doing something? Five. Yet? You're having a big, big party with your sister, I was understanding. Yeah, we have cookies, too. Perfect. The tent is canceled, though. Sorry. My favorite sadly, cookies. on, Does sadly, get to on my day three, oh, um, we haven't really planned that yet. No. Because we're not in the same cohort Yeah, we're not in anymore. the same cohort. Yeah, like we... We used to be at recess, but things changed. Like people went online, so then his class became a five six class. Mine just moved up with the grade seven cohort, so now I'm a cohort with grade sevens. He's a great cohort with grade fives. Huh. Mm -hmm. COVID is messing everything yeah, up, including kinda, your yeah, mom's watching. Holy crow. You know, would you come back on the show another time if we had other sciencey things to talk about, guys? Of course. Sure. I would to. love that. I would love that because did you did you call yourself a nerd, Tharan? Yes. Well, if you're a nerd, a nerd, we're all nerds on this morning show because we're loving all of this conversation with both of you. And I thank you both for your time. Are you heading off to school now? Yeah. Should we give a shout yep. out to the school? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Bayview Hill Elementary School. Richmond Hill, grade six. B-H-E-S. Woohoo! Tharan, Alfie, thank you for explaining why it's such a big deal to be watching the sky. We'll be thinking of you boys, and I really am happy to have met you today. Thank you. Thank you, Heather. Thank you thank for you. letting me Bye. be on the show. Thank you so much, Heather. Bye. Thanks. See you Bye. soon. So much. Bye. See you. See you soon. Bye. See you.